वेलकम टू टेक ए आर के आई टी यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज रवि इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट वॉट इज द शेल एंड वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ शेल्स वी हैव ऑनलाइन एक्स सो बेसिकली शेल इज ए प्रोग्राम विच विल टेक द कमांड्स फ्रॉम द की बोर्ड आर द इनपुट डिवाइसेस देन एग्जीक्यूट इट ऑन द टर्मिनल आर दी ऑन द शेल so the shell passes the command to the kernel then the kernel will go to the hardware and will execute and get the reply from the hardware to the kernel and from kernel to the shell and shell displays again the what are the output which is sent by the kernel on the shell itself so example same uh, i i am just executing ls command so this ls command executed so quickly that so the shell what are the shell i am using which sends the command to the kernel so like that so in this linux we have different types of shells so before the shell is ssh now we are using bash so what does it make difference so what is the difference we have okay so sh and bash looks like same in the sense most of the parameters looks like same or most of the commands you execute on the sh and bash will execute it but there is a difference so what does difference is let's example say i have that uh, comparison sheet over here so you can see that some job controls you can execute on the bash but there is a sh that job controls do not have you cannot create aliases on sh but you can create aliases on bash so command line history sh will not store any command line history if you use it but bash can store command line editing so sh cannot do that but bash can do it vi command line editor so it does not have any vi on the sh but bash can have so there are so many differences over here so which can give you a detail detail information see this list variables so in the sh you can not do it but in the bash you can do it so that is the difference over here you can see that so likewise if you go into the sh and type some commands and see that whether you can able to see some history or not slash bin slash sh so i enter into the sh terminal now so example say i execute some commands so ls clear be in the latest version it is stored but in the older version is not cat slash etc shells you can see this so if you set any user slash has been no login which means that the user cannot login into the machine but they can do some work after uh, switching over from one user to other user so basically most of the service accounts do have the no login uh, access so which is mandatory for the service accounts to not to log into the machines so tch and csh is used to used for most of the programming developers like uh, which are who are into the c language development or the application development on the c language they are more familiar and they have flexibility on this um, terminals they can switch back okay that is the shells we have and the shell will do the shell is a program which will do take the input from the keyboard and send it to the kernel and get the output and show it to the terminal that's about the shells quickly and thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more updates please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask